Zacian is making its way back into Pokemon Go in its Hero of Many Battles form. This form is not its crown form, but don't let it fool you. It's still going to be a powerhouse of a fairy type Pokemon, which is going to be making a splash in the raid scene and PvP. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First, let's get familiar with Zacian. In this form, it is going to be a pure fairy type, which gives us some awesome resistances and only a few weaknesses. That means it's only weak to poison and steel types while resisting bug, dark, fighting, and especially dragon type moves. Zacian comes with a base stat line of 254 attack, 236 defense, and a 192 stamina. Its max CP reaches up to 4,329. This isn't even its most powerful form. It's gonna be a menace whenever we do get that released, but that makes it a beast for both raids and PVP, and it's a pure fairy type, which will make Zacian a formidable dragon slayer in battles. And trust me, you're gonna wanna make sure you get one. But all right, let's go ahead and talk about counters. While Zacian is a powerhouse, it's not unbeatable. We have the best Pokemon to use when you're facing off against it, like Metagross with Bullet Punch Meteor Mash, Nihilega with Poison Jab Sludge Bump, Dialga with Metal Claw Iron Head, Excadrill with Metal Claw Drill Run, and Roserade of all things with Poison Jab Sludge Bomb. These Pokemon will hit Zacian hard, exploiting its weaknesses to steal and poison type moves. And some pro tips is Mega Gengar with Shadow Claw Sludge Bomb is an absolute unit for this raid, boosting all poison type moves coming off of all your allies. And if you wanna boost all steel type moves, just use something like a Mega Aeron with Iron Tail Heavy Slam. Now let's dive into Zacian's move set. This is really where it's gonna be shining because even without its crown, it still has access to some awesome moves to make it a top tier raid and PVP mod. So fast moves, we do have Quick Attack, Snarl, Fire Fang, and Metal Claw. And charge moves, we have things like Play Rough, Close Combat, Wild Charge, and Iron Head. The ideal move set for Zacian in raids and PVP is a Snarl, as a fast move, play rough, paired with wild charge of all things for coverage, the fairy and electric combination makes Zacian a flexible and unpredictable threat in the battlefield. Whether you're tearing through strong dragons or catching your opponents off guard with electric type damage, Zacian is built to succeed. And PVP fans, listen up. Zacian in his hero of many battles form is already making waves in the Master League with Snarl, play rough, and wild charge. It can take down some of the most dominant forces in the game, including Dragonite, Kyogre, Zekrom, and Yveltal. It's ranked super high and gives you so much versatility in battle. So you've defeated Zacian in raids. Now it's time to go ahead and catch the Majestic Beast. Here are some ticks to go ahead and help you lock it down. First off, we do have Golden Raspberries all the way. Zacian can be tricky to catch, so you'll wanna use these for the best success. Aim for excellent throws, that target circle may be big, but timing it just right can go ahead and give you an excellent throw for the best possible chance. Three, patience is key. Wait for Zacian to attack, then release your throw immediately after to increase your chances so it doesn't go ahead and just knock away your Pokeball. And then lastly, Shiny Zacian. Shiny Zacian is here. We are gonna be able to get it. Right now it does sound to be bugged, but you can still get it, it's shiny form, does go into an all blue palette. It's actually a really good shiny by my describing. I actually really love it going into the all blue and just wait until the crown form comes because it gets even better. Yet we'll wait till then to go ahead and discuss that one. But that's counters, moves, PVP. Let's go ahead and cover the bigger picture here. How does Zacian Hero Mini Battles form shake up the Pokemon Go meta? First off, it's gonna dominate dragon type raids. It's pure fairy type means it resists dragon type moves and will deal huge damage with play rough. It also has an absolute must have for PVP fans, especially in the Master League, like we previously discussed, because it does give you the keys to counter the dragon heavy teams that people do like to run from time to time. Zashian's versatility of fairy and electric type moves makes it a Swiss army knife for trainers looking to add a bit of flexibility to their teams whether you're battling in raids, PvP, or just looking to beef up your dragon counters, Zacian is gonna be a go-to game changer. But there you have it, Zacian, even without its crown form, is an absolute beast in Pokemon Go. So 
make sure you go ahead and pick one up because it's going to make a massive impact for your raid counters, your dragon counters, and PvP if you do go ahead and use it in there. So, like normal, go ahead, like, subscribe if you found this helpful. Make sure you go out there, have fun. I'll catch you guys in the next one.